Trump Talk with the Trump Lady. Well, welcome back. Oh, you patriots probably should be saying that to me, right? I haven't been hiding. I just had to recharge the old batteries. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's hard buying into all this political theater any longer, really. I have about had it. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, you've got to stand strong until the end. But sanity is a treasure. Mm-hmm. I guess that's how the Democrats do it. Mm-hmm, they have no sanity. Thank God we've got a strong president. No, no coronavirus is going to knock him out. Our prayers for him are strong. I'm going to light this candle. I've got this white candle here. I'm going to light for Donald Trump. Praying for him and his beautiful wife, Melania, our gorgeous first lady. Uh -huh. Yes, our prayers for him are strong, but our patriotism is even stronger. This country has not seen its finest hour yet. And we need four more years of our golden president. Yep. There's a rocky road ahead, and we are the deciding factor whether or not Donald Trump works another four years for America. Yep. We are the votes. Mm -hmm. Get superior, people. Looks like our golden president is nominating another golden SCOTUS. Mm -hmm. Another Supreme Court justice. Oh, that makes three, this, just for this term. We're not counting what's coming. Nothing can stop what's coming, remember that. Amy Coney Barrett, oh, she's the perfect model for modern day feminism, which is a concept the left just cannot grasp. But that's nothing new. She's exactly what Ruth Bader Ginsburg would call a real feminist. Mm -hmm. Tell that to the snowflakes and just Watch him melt like Margaret Hamilton. When Jesus spoke on the cross and said, Father, forgive them, they know not what they do. He was talking about the left. The past three or four months has been a preview of their anarchy. Mm -hmm. Yep, just a preview. The worst is yet to come. So we'll just see how much their constituents will put up with. Well, I tell you, it's getting crazy. Pokey and crazy. Hoax after hoax, I'm telling you. I feel like I sold my soul to COVID-19. Oh, they've got us right where they want us. Sticking it to us like we're one of Hillary's voodoo dolls. Yep, forced masking of this nation through propaganda. Oh, it's got to stop. It's time to get loud about it. Oh, these masks are indicative of how freaked out the left are about Trump and America first. Oh, yes. They don't want to breathe the same air as Trump supporters, so the masks are like a shield for snowflakes. I'm not kidding. I just bet you they really think Trump and his supporters are the virus. As far-fetched as it sounds, that's what I believe. You know, I still believe Trump supporters were all targeted at that Las Vegas concert. Mm -hmm. Shot to death while billionaires sat in the Luxor and watched. Just look at the Black Lives Matter and Antifa rioting. And we all should know that big companies are funding them. Oh, the insanity continues. And let me reiterate, masks are not a thing. Okay? They never were before, and they never shall be now. Anyone who is pro-mask at this point is pro-criminal, in my opinion. On to the debates. And where was our American flag? Uh, excuse me, hello? Stage phone. Where is the American flag? This is a presidential debate. Mm-mm. If I was Trump, I would have brought my own flag right out there and propped it right, right next to me. Mm -hmm. Tell America, you want America? Vote for me. Let Joe Biden fetch his own damn flag. And Fox News, huh, what's wrong with them? Weren't they supposed to be in charge? Well, the left, they just went, went crazy when Joe Biden said, shut up. Shut up, man. Oh. The left, they, they wanted Joe Biden to tell the president to shut up more often. 
Well, it's not presidential. He said, hush, he called him a clown and he told him to shut up twice. Well, it's not presidential. He said, hush, he called him a clown and he told him to shut up twice. Oh, it's all a big game to them. They figure the better the insult, the more votes they'll get. What a, what a world. And Fox News is sliding their propaganda into the debates via their own little elf on the shelf, Chris Wallace. Oh, how can a registered Democrat be a moderator for a debate with an incumbent Republican president? Or any for that matter. It's just not kosher. How lackluster and disrespectful of Fox News. Yeah, the Disney takeover hired idiots and globalists. Probably pedophiles, too. Just take a look at that Nate Silver from 538. Creeps. As far as corruption goes, I don't know what we're going to do. Lindsey Graham. Oh, there's a pip. There may be a double standard, he says. Well, I'd like to know where the hell he's been for the last four years. And what channel is he watching? And how about that Christopher Ray and the FBI? Huh. If I was Trump, I would have fired him long ago. What the hell are we keeping him for? What has he done but get in the way of everything that we we are trying to get progress on? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And now Gina Haspel? Oh, Blocking the declassification of evidence involved in the crime of the century, or history even. How does she get away with it? Get her out of there. And are you getting the feeling that the CIA and the FIA are not our friends? Mm. It's foreign intelligence, I'm telling you. Seems like there's some kind of China-Israel collusion takeover coming on slowly, but I, I don't know. I, I hope I'm wrong. And instead of Antifa being declared a threat, well, FBI comes out and says white supremacy is the number one threat. Mm. Yep. Well, they're not burning down our cities and streets. Oh. Well, yeah, and the media won't stop asking about the Republican votes for SCOTUS. Honestly, I've never seen so many people terrified of our Constitution in my life. But, to quote RBG on any case, no hints, no forecasts, no previews. Short, but not too sweet. Just like her. I just can't tell you how heartbreaking some of the news has been. The seniors being genocided in our nursing homes across the country. Ah, oh, it's awful. It needs to be, they need to be charged and dealt with. All of the culprits, they're all culpable. Starting with that awful Cuomo. Rotten, rotten, rotten to the Cuomo, Cuomo core. And all of a sudden, he says he's not responsible for those people's deaths. Seniors just taken right out in their own little living rooms. It's terrible. And somebody should pay. Yep. And so please vote for President Trump and let's pray for him that this COVID gets out of his system and he's back on track the way he was. He should get a Nobel Peace Prize just for doing two pro-America rallies back to back in one day. Just like he did on election night. Remember that? Oh. No stopping him. Biden should be, he shouldn't be asking for your vote. He should be begging for your forgiveness. Remember that. Keep on Stormwatch, and we'll be back soon. Hit it, Earl.